Welcome to a Rainbow Loom tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own Rainbow Loom Jolteon. So don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And come back more for other Rainbow Loom tutorials. We're going to start off with the ears, so be ready. Okay, so that's the ear. Now we're going to make our ear. Well, yeah. So you're going to take two yellow bands at a time and make a row of four. Then you're going to take one yellow band and wrap it around the ending peg three times as a cap band. Next you're going to take your hook and pull everything through. And take it off of the loom. Now we're going to place it like this on our loom between two pegs. This is in slow-mo so you can see what I'm doing. Go through all of the three parts of the cap band and drag a black band through them. So hopefully you can see. <laughs> then you're going to go through the, um, the next row, you're going to go through two of those yellow bands. Well, you're going to go through one, the outside one. Then you're going to take one of the black bands. <laughs> if I can get it on my hook. Okay, fourth time's the charm. Then you're going to take the other black band. And finally, you're going to take one more yellow band. And then you're going to get another black band and pull it through that. And then you're going to repeat for the rest of the ear until I say so. Now that we've done it for the entire ear, we're going to take one yellow band and drag everything we have left over onto that and just put it with the other bands you should have on there. <laughs> and now we have our ears. So let's get into the hind legs. That was a hind leg I made, now we're going to make our own. So now we're going to start out with a row of two and a cat band wrapped around the ending peg three times. Then you're going to put that all together and take it off. Just put it to the side and then we're going to make another row. The thing we just made is the foot. Now we're going to make the actual leg. So make a row of two, then put the foot on there. Make sure it's facing down or just away. Then wrap the um, cap band around three times as always and then put it all together. It might look straight, but it's, it'll be easy to, to move in the way you want it. And then there's a little tuft of fur coming off the side as well. So now we're going to make the front legs. The front legs are made the exact same way as the, as the foot was. So <laughs> there's that, there's a front leg. And make two of these, of course. So now we're going to make the eyes. Take one black band, wrap it around your hook three times, then take two yellow bands, make sure it's two, and then drag all, all of those um, black bands around there. So here it is the second time if you needed it. Okay, now we're going to start on the body. So taking two yellow bands at a time, we're going to make a flower shape on our loom in this pentagonal region at the very end that I have created. Eventually, the middle of the pentagon will be gone, but for now we need it to make our flower. 
So one by one, we're going to put them on and push it down so it doesn't get too full. Then <laughs> I started um, making it, but we need a cat band first. So wrap it around the middle three times. And now we're going to bring everything over that cap band, all through the cap band. And it'll look like a flower in the shape of a pentagon. So yeah. Once our flower is all made, we're going to start making the um, body, but first we need to get rid of that center. So we're going to take the bands that were on the side, lift them up, and then pull the, the um, row through. So now we're going to put the ears on. It took me like 10 times to put it on the right way, but, you, but what you want is the black, when it's down, the black should be facing the long side of the pentagon. And we're going to put an eye on. It doesn't really matter what order this is in. The ears go before the eyes. And just, you see I have a knot kind of on that. Just ignore that. I was just trying, to, um, trying it with a mouth, but obviously it didn't work out. It looks better without a mouth. So put the other ear on. And it's kind of hard to put, the, put it back on once it's off. And then put the other eye on, and then the last two will just be plain yellow. And then we're going to lift the bottom four bands on every peg over everything else. This row will just be plain yellow, so that's why it's sped up. Now we're going to make the white tufts of fur that make Jolteon's neck. So you're going to take, need white bands now, and you're going to make a row of two with an ending band of um, <laughs> one white band wrapped around three times, and put that all together. And you're going to need five of these total, and you're going to put them on just like we put the yellow bands on on the previous row. So now I'm going to make the other four. Lift the bottom four bands up and over. tufts of fur but they're going to look a bit different. It's just going to be two white bands followed by an, uh, a cat band wrapped around three times and you're going to need five of these as well. We're going to put them on similarly to the ears except on every single peg. So just pull them on and yeah, I'm going to do that on every single peg. that, we can just make a row of completely yellow bands. Now we're going to put the legs on. So take a back leg and we're going to put them on the sides of the pentagon. So as you can see there, the foot is facing the right, which is the way my Jolteon is facing and you're going to take both hind legs, make sure the tufts of fur on the legs are facing opposite the foot, as you can see on mine. And we're going to take both of our front legs that we should have made, and we're going to put them both on our hook. So as you can see here, it might be a little bit crowded, but that should change soon. Make sure to get all of the bands on the hook. Then we're going to take two yellow bands and we're going to pull those um, front
front legs onto the yellow bands. We're going to put them in the front of our jolteon because our jolteon is sitting with its hind legs on the side and its front legs in the front, obviously. So it should look something like that, and the very back two are just yellow. Then we'll lift everything up and over as always. My Jolteon to look pretty realistic, so I made tufts of fur on its back because it doesn't have a tail. So you're going to take two yellow bands, then branch them out, as you can see, as I'm doing, and then two cat bands because it's branched. And this will make a heart shape that we're going to put on Jolteon's back, acting as the tufts of fur. And we're going to make two of these. So it's the same thing. Just make sure to do both of the branches before um, bringing the other one over. So take it off and we're going to put it where we haven't put any um, anything yet except for yellow bands and white bands. This, this corner up and over to help it stay as I put other things on. This part was a little difficult for me to figure out, but what you're going to do is in the hind legs, you're going to take two of the foot bands and one of the leg bands. As you can see here. And that'll make the foot stay in the direction it's, it's in currently. And then you're going to take two yellow bands pull those onto there and that's going to be your two bands for this row. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like I did on the um, tufts of fur, I'm bringing this corner over in order to help it stay. Now I'm doing the other leg. to um, attach the front legs. So you're going to take the um, back side of the front legs and the, as you can see there, I hope, <laughs> the back side of the front legs, you're going to take the bands there and you're going to bring two yellow bands through that. So it's not the entire front legs, just the back sides. This will help them stick out a little, but also stay onto the body in the correct position and not flail out. Because I have a problem with, with my legs flailing out on projects. So you're going to do the same thing you did with the, the back legs. It should look like that. So it looks pretty good. And bring it up and over. Okay, now I'm going to stuff my Jolteon. So I didn't use that much stuffing, but really get it in there. Not so much that you can see it from the front though. You're always going to be able to see it from the top. Hopefully you don't care about that. Now that you have the stuffing in, you're going to take everything off the loom. So this part can be a little bit scary. Mine actually slipped when I did this part, but I was able to fix it, thank God. Um, so you're going to take all of the yellow bands onto your, your hook. It helps to start in one of the um, one of the front leg corners because then it's straight on the bottom. So this is me just fixing it. I like to pull on it when I'm done. It helps bring it out, I think, because sometimes they get stuck. Now you're going to take, sorry, this isn't very well explained here, but you're going to take two yellow bands and pull all of the bands on your hook onto those two yellow bands. I, this is where I messed up, so that's why it was so suddenly cut and speeding through this you have to be really careful when it comes to the end because sometimes you don't know if it's the two yellow bands or the two on your hook so then you're going to pull them through each other and you can take the rest 
the leftovers and put them around the tops of fur. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your very own Rainbow Loom Jolteon. If you did like the video, please give it a like. The like goal for this video is 5 because we didn't reach the like goal of 7 last time. But hopefully we do reach 5. And I hope you subscribe for more Rainbow Loom content and other Pokemon content in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!